Spice, Bath Salts, K2. These are just a few of the brand names of synthetic drugs that are still easy to get a hold of but Arizona legislators are trying to change that. We did pass some bills through here, some legislation uh, over the last two years that have banned synthetic um, dangerous drugs. You know, we, we list them, the synthetic compounds as dangerous drugs. This long list of banned chemical compounds on House Bill 2167 hasn't made spice illegal because the people concocting the substance continue to change the makeup of the drug using other chemicals not yet on the list. We'll continue to add to that list and so it's just making it harder and harder for them. But the drug designers aren't the only ones being faced with challenges. Forrest Smith, a paramedic with Mesa Fire and Medical Department, says the constantly changing makeup of these synthetic drugs are causing huge problems for medical response teams when they appear on a scene. And then now when you have something that's just made of these chemical derivatives, we don't know the outline or the algorithm of how the body's supposed to respond. We have no clue what the response is gonna be. But the fact that buying spice-like substances from stores is so easy, gives people the impression that it must also be safe. Oh, that's exactly what they think. Zach knows all too well the effects because he's tried Spice three different times and told me he no longer uses yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, uh, once I fainted, uh, wasn't good for me. Fainting, hallucinations, rapid heart rates, panic attacks. Forrest says the evolving chemical makeup of bath salts makes it completely unpredictable and more and more difficult to treat. When you have that physiological response to something that's introduced to the body that's not natural or shouldn't be there, the outcome could be anything from seizure, coma, to death. Given the speed that chemists are using to change the makeup of the drugs, legislators are taking a new approach to this problem. We're looking at analog statutes, what would allow us to be able to address these chemicals as they're coming up more quickly without having to go through the legislature right away. Allowing police officers to treat these chemicals as illegal drugs as they appear on the street before being officially deemed illegal in the legislature. In Phoenix, Michelle Breike, Cronkite News.